welcome to the Contemporary for another Young of the Parks food review. Yeah, we are finally checking out Steakhouse 71, which yes. is the restaurant that replaced the Wave in the Contemporary Resort a couple months ago. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, um, yeah. We are here for lunch today. Mm -hmm. We also have dinner reservations for later this month for my birthday, but we have heard such good things about the burger. Yes. And you can only get that at lunch, so that is what we are here for today. Oh yeah, very excited. Super, super nice in here. It's not too much of a change from when it was in the wave. It's yeah. really modern and like pops of color and I like the murals. So oh yeah. yeah looks good. Yeah, super cute. All right, we got the menu here for lunch. Um, so you know, the same appetizers as you can get for lunch, you can also get for dinner. Uh, we're gonna be doing the steak house and you want onion rings. Um, for our entrees, we are each doing the Steakhouse 71 stack burger. I'm just getting it as is with the red onion uh, taken off. Uh, Kelly is actually going to get it with the plant-based patty as well as, so it's not listed, um, but it does apparently come with pork belly on it. So that is something to keep in mind if you have a pork allergy, you eat whole and anything like that. Um, that is definitely something to keep in mind because it isn't listed here, which is uh, very interesting. It's not normally something that would happen for a Disney menu. Um, of course, they also have steak frites, gourmet goat cheese, a really nice fish sandwich that sounds super good. Um, Salisbury steak and the desserts are also shared between this and dinner. And of course, that famous Steakhouse 71 chocolate cake. Uh, might get the ambrosia or the apple tartare, just some sort of light if I'm feeling dessert at the end. Uh, so yeah, awesome little menu. Uh, of course, they still have, uh, you know, specialty cocktails, Fig Manhattan, the citrus grove sounds really fun. Uh, raspberry gin sour, tequila sunrise for two, um, so lots of options here at Steakhouse 71. All right, we have our appetizer coming out. Is the Steakhouse 71 onion rings and a fun little, little metal like fry holder basically with that amazing paper and some spicy dipping sauce. Very excited. Finished up with the onion rings. Pretty good. Uh, very, very good onion rings. Not crazy about the spicy ranch sauce. It was sort of sweet. Yeah, not really spicy at all. Um, but overall, maybe 7.5, 8 out of 10. That's about right. Yeah. 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 Good. Food has arrived. I had the Steakhouse 71 stack burger with that pork belly on top that we did confirm is not on the menu, but it is on there. Uh, looks really, really good with my waffle fries. And Kelly, I, really know, I, I know think they went mind. full vegan with yours, full plant based. Yeah. It definitely looks like it. Because I did order the Steakhouse 71 burger with a, with a plant based patty. I'm yeah. not vegan though, so I said the regular cheese and everything is fine. Yeah. I just want the plant based patty, but I think this is probably plant based cheese and maybe gluten free gluten -free bread. Gluten free bread, yeah, maybe. We will um, definitely really check sure it out. And why are my fries different? Your fries are different, yeah, as well. Huh, interesting. interesting. I don't know. It's windy. <laughs> but it's so nice outside it's today. absolutely oh beautiful outside. Um, we just had a fantastic lunch. Kelly, what did you think about it? It was very good. Very so good. So I got the plant-based um, signature stack house burger with Impossible Foods um, plant-based patty. Yes. It was very, very good. Could not finish it all. Yeah. My one caveat was because I did get a plant-based um, burger it was vegan cheese and then a different um bun and yeah. it was the bread was too small for those patties so yeah. it didn't stand a chance yeah because you like do you technically only ordered the plant-based patty and then no uh pork belly but then they brought out the Everything being plant-based. Yeah, and which was vegan, fine. Which I don't fine. I don't mind that at all. But and it was very take very that good. Into, yeah, take that into account. Yeah. If you just want like one plant-based component, there's a good chance they're gonna bring you out everything mm -hmm. being plant-based. It was very, very good, but I would probably give it like an eight point five or a nine out of ten. Okay. I would think. Um because of that bread and because it was just like almost too much. <laughs> like just very, very rich yeah, it was very filling rich. for yeah. lunch. Yeah. Um, so what did you think of the signature? So for my burger, 
judging just the burger by itself, uh, fries being separate, I would go on a limb and say that the reviews are right, that that is the best burger on property. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Also, very sunny. <laughs> um, best burger on property, for sure, 10 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic wow. burger. Just very well seasoned, good mm, cheese, the pork right. belly added to it, the pickles gave it a nice crunch, mm. the, the lemon aioli Shallots. had just like a little bit of tanginess yeah. to it. Um, oh yeah, you just, didn't get red onion Oh no, I didn't get the red onion yeah. on mine. So. Mine had shallots on it. Oh, that's weird. Not red onion. Huh. Maybe they cooked the red mind, onion But something. I don't mind yeah. onion. Um, yeah. Fantastic. The fries, though, on the other hand, not very good. Yeah, your fries were not like they hot weren't super hot. Um, I feel like they might have been better if they were hot. But yeah, they just weren't fried. But even then, like, I don't know if they would have been that great hot. They're so, like Parmesan, on the Parmesan outside, garlic fries probably, yeah. or something. So I don't know. And um, mine were just standard. Yeah, yours like, are like cosmic rays fries. Like cosmic rays. But they were good though. They're super hot and fresh. But mine were hot and fresh, so that yeah. was the difference. So, so of course they're good. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I'm definitely really glad we tried it for oh, lunch. Oh, for sure. Um, oh, it's okay. That's okay, okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you, though. Don't just keep talking. Everybody always thinks that we're oh, sorry. taking a picture when oh, we're no, just so filming. Nice. It is nice. It like, is nice. Take a picture, but we're but also doing like, a lot of stuff. No, I'm kidding. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, I'm really glad we tried it for lunch. Yes. Like I said, we will be back later this month for dinner. Mm -hmm. um, super excited about that. Definitely want that potato brioche bread yes. appetizer. And definitely yes, want dessert. Because sure. they have the like a really, really 12 tasty. layer chocolate cake. And yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, that's oh, not yeah. going to happen today. But yeah. I want it. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Next well, month. Or this month. Yes. Couple. Coming up soon. Uh, well, if you want to see more of our adventures, make sure yeah. to subscribe. Click the bell icon to get notified every time we go out with new videos. And as always, we will see you next time for Rearing at the Parks. Bye!